Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to A Wrist of Time. My name is Sire. Today we're back with G-Shock and this is the second video of the Asian G-Shocks that I've purchased. The previous video of the one I bought in Singapore. This one is actually from Kuala Lumpur. The model number for you it is GA150A-3ADR. You may be able to spot just here it actually tells you whereabouts this was purchased as you can see the import there in Kuala Lumpur. So this is not a European market G-Shock, uh, it's not available to buy at least here where I am in the UK without importing it. So it's something a little bit different so without further ado let's get into it. You can see here the standard array of Casio um, paperwork, there's a little stand there and then here we have the warranty card you can see there she bought this at the pavilion in Kuala Lumpur in Bukit Bintang a beautiful place, uh, there's its import card and then here's the, the standard G-Shock warranty and then uh, the biggest manual known to man or beast of course, it ships all the Casios in every language that's ever been written put all that to one side and let's have a look so we get a nice grey box for this one, not the usual black box these boxes normally come with the metal G-Shocks although this isn't a metal G-Shock as you'll see in a minute it's actually all plastic and it's all very bright. So, see here, in this nice little packaging, set all this to one side and straight away you'll notice that wow, okay, it's very, very green. So this is as more green than I remember it when I tried it on in the shop. So, you see here, this is not a module that's available in Europe. You won't find this, at least in the UK, on shops. So got this lovely kind of light green colour to the entire piece it's actually uh, I think slightly darker on the back than the front or on the front of the back my apologies in fact yeah you can really see the contrast there between the actual top of the, uh, the strap there and the buckle piece here um, single single strapped single hold strap as usual G-Shock back plate all the usual gubbins on there uh, 20 bar, 200 meter water resistance. Now, what's interesting about this G-Shock is it doesn't have a light. Um, it has an adjust button, it has a mode button, and then of course the usual stops for the timers. But this isn't backlit, which is very, very strange. And I don't know whether people in the comments may be able to help me out whether that's like an Asian market thing that they don't put lights on these, or whether this is just a model, particular model that doesn't contain them. But it has the usual modes, so you stop, watch, timer, world times, and then your alarm, and then back to home. So if we put it on stopwatch and then go forward, or timer even, and then go forward. Oh, so there is a light, and my apologies. There is a light, it's just not listed on there. Okay, so just to confuse all the Europeans buying these watches, they put a light on there, and they don't actually put it as a button. But other than that, I think it's a pretty standard G-Shock. Really like this. Really enjoy wearing this. For a size comparison there, once again, we've got the Pro Trek there. It's around a similar size to the Pro Trek. So you're looking at 50 mil plus. So a relatively big watch if you do have skinny wrists like I do. So I think that's about it, guys. So thank you very much for watching this. I'll put a link in the description below as to the model number, where I purchased it from, once again. It is an Asian market watch, so if you are in the UK like I am or in Europe, uh, you're probably going to have to import this. You're not going to find this on shop shelves or you know, uh, local online retailers. Uh, feel, please feel free to leave a like, a sub, a comment. Uh, I've got loads of comments coming through now, like, subs, really taking off. So I'll keep making these videos uh, as long as you keep liking them and enjoying them. Thank you very much for watching, guys. and. Uh, We'll see you soon.